Hello! Today I'll be showing you how to make beet, fennel, and cabbage soup, which can be served hot or cold. So now we're going to combine two and a half cups of vegetable broth and our cabbage, which will be, we'll put in about a half of a head. I'll just peel off a couple of the outer leaves and cut it into fourths because we're going to be blending it at the end. Now we need three fourth cup beets, which I've already got some here, but I just wanted to show you. Um, I'm peeling them, just the outer skin. and then chopping them up. Again, everything can be chopped pretty roughly as we'll be boiling it all down. So I've got about 3 fourth cups um, chopped beets. If this was more fine, it would be down a little bit more. So, there's so now we'll move on to the fennel. I'm just going to chop off these top fronds and the bottom. Then just let these kind of peel away. And we'll just peel the outer it's a little bit more stringy, so we'll peel that. So I'm just going to use about half of the fennel and then I'll cut it up, slice it one more time, put it in. Now I've got some ginger chopped up. This is about one teaspoon. So we'll go ahead and throw that in, as well as you could use one half clove garlic, but I really like garlic, so this is one medium clove. So now we're just going to um, stir this a little bit just to mix it up and let it come to a boil. And then we're going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes or until the beet and the cabbage are both tender. So I boiled, I brought this all to a boil, and then I simmered it for 10 minutes. Um, could do it a little bit longer just whenever your cabbage and fennel and beets are tender. And then we're going to pour it into our blender. So I don't have any fresh lemon juice, but you could definitely use lemon juice instead. I'm just going to use some vinegar just to get a little bit of that acidic quality, not much at all. And go ahead and puree it until nice and smooth, whatever consistency you're looking for. So now just pour your soup into your bowl, or bowls. I'm just making this two servings, and then you can season it right now with your salt and pepper, or you can go ahead and chill it and actually eat it as a chilled soup and season it then with your salt and pepper. And that's it.